course, rain stopped play at most places, but it didn't stop our athletes from beating France at the White City. The one mile found England's Bill Nankerville and John Parlett racing against the French ace, El Mabrouk. Twice beaten this season by El Mabrouk, Nankerville now sprints past the Frenchman to win in four minutes, 11 seconds. Europe's half mile champion, Parlett, took second place. Ample compensation for Bill Nankerville for his recent defeat in the AAA championships. In the women's match, the 100-yard sprint brought maximum points to Great Britain. Margaret Pletz and June Foles, the British champion, filled the first two places. Margaret Pletz won by one yard in 11.2 seconds. The pole vault, and despite conditions, home competitor GM Elliott had cleared 12 feet. But then the high spot of the meeting as French champion B. Sion clears 13 feet 8 inches, a new series record. The second day, and for those who braved the rain, a day of records. First, the British women's team ran the 4 by 110 yards relay in 48.2 seconds, the fastest ever time in Britain. Watch the four stars, June Foles, Sylvia Cheeseman, Dorothy Manley and Jean Deforge, as despite a sudden track, they raced to a wonderful British victory. In the six miles, Manchester's Walter Hesketh, number two, was so much at home in the rain that he set up a record time. Running in the 880 yards, Roger Bannister, the mile champion and the most invincible Arthur Wint. They hoped to meet Malbrook, but the weather drove him back to France. So the race became an all-British duel, with the West Indian fighting off a Bannister challenge and winning by three yards. And in the same event for women, Valerie Ball splashed a victory by one yard from Jay Cavallo of France. A great triumph chasing away any lingering depression over British athletics.